Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to make an edible plant or animal cell model. Here's where we start up with our drawings. And we've got to look at with making a plant cell, we have 10 parts we need to make on here. Put on our model. And then we have nine parts to put on our model for the animal cell. Okay, so now we've got our supplies on the table. We've decided that we're going to be doing animal cells, so obviously we're using circular shaped objects here. We're going to use angel food cake. First thing we're going to do is somebody's going to go ahead and take that can of whipping cream and they're going to decorate the top of their angel food cake. Go ahead. Because that's going to represent our cytoplasm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and squirt it on there. There you go. And go ahead and jump. You want some help? Yeah. Okay. You hold it like this. Whoa. Oh, that's how you want to do it? Oh, that's something how like you that. use it? Yep. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. So we've got our cytoplasm. Okay, so now we're putting our nucleus on top of our cell. Some we've chosen to use a sucker. And other ones we've chosen to use a chocolate malt ball. Okay, we've just put on peanut M&Ms to represent the lysosomes. Now you guys can go ahead and choose. Let's see, we're going to check off our list. Lysosomes are done. Now we need something to represent the vacuoles. So we need to get someone to open up the Skittles, and we're going to put our vacuoles on there next. What if they buy all of That's okay, just open carefully. Okay. Yes, sir. Good evening. Okay, go ahead and choose two Skittles <laughs> to represent your lysosomes. Okay? Two Skittles to represent the lysosomes. Good job. All right, so lysosomes are done. So we've got that checked off. Now let's start working on putting, let's see, we've we take care of the mitochondria? Yeah, took care of the mitochondria, the lysosomes, and our vacuoles, and our nucleus. And remember that our cytoplasm is our whipped cream. Now we need to work at putting our Golgi bodies on. Okay, so take one of the gummy worms, and then pinch them in half, and lay, put them side by side inside your cell model. This is going to represent your Golgi body. Mm -hmm. Yep, put them on there, side by side. That represents your Golgi body. Just the one, because we're going to run out of room otherwise. Excellent job, okay. The next thing we need to put on there is our endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so we're ribboning our endoplasmic reticulum. Good job, Carrie. Carrie's done it. Okay, so we've ribbon that piece of gum by the foot and put it on next to our nucleus. All right. Next thing we need to put on there is using the nerds, sprinkle a few nerds on your cells to represent the ribosomes. Okay? So you choose which flavor you want and sprinkle some of those on there. Yeah, not too many. So watch how many you get on there. It's going to melt, Miss Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> Saran wrap? No. We're just going to put them in the fridge. Perfect. Just like you guys have. You're sprinkling them on. That's okay if they fall off. You can just pick them back up and put them back on there. Because the little nerds are going to represent ribosomes. Is that a lot? Huh. I'd put half of that on. Nah, just put them all on there. You're okay. Excellent job, guys. That's okay. We're going to put them in the fridge really quick. So let's go back to our list. We've got the ribosome, cytoplasm, mitochondria, lysosomes, vacuole, cell membrane, Golgi body. We put on endoplasmic reticulum. We put on and our nucleus. We have just completed our cell model in about, oh, I don't know, seven minutes. Wow. And it's all done. Yay!